Hey everybody, Squee913 here, and welcome to Book 5 of Lone Wolf, Shadow on the Sand, the last book of the Kai series. This is it, this is the climax of the Kai series. After that, it's on to the Magna Kai series, alright? So, let's kick right into it, shall we? You are Lone Wolf, last of the Kai Lords for Summerlund, and sole survivor of the massacre that destroyed them during a bitter war uh, with your age-old enemies, the Dark Lords of Helgadad. It is midwinter in your northern homeland, and the mantle of snow lies knee-deep in the streets of Holmgard, the capital, where you are summoned from your monastery in the hills by a messenger bearing a scroll, signed and sealed by the hand of King Unlar. You are surprised to read the king's message, for it is a request for your help in solving an urgent problem of which he describes as great diplomatic importance. It seems a strange request to make of a warrior lord, whose skills are better suited on the field of battle than parlaying with foreign envoys. However, you obey the summons, and upon your arrival at the capital, all is made clear. The Zakhan of Vasagonia, an imperial ruler of this desert empire, has sent his most trusted envoy to seek a treaty of peace between your two countries, and you have been asked to sign the treaty on behalf of your country. The reason for this is easily apparent. Less than a year ago, a renegade noble of Vasagonia called Baraka led his army of bandits in an attack upon the Summerlanding province of Ruanon. This mining town and much of the surrounding land was overrun and destroyed. Many Summerlanding lost their lives, and many more were enslaved and forced to labor in the mines of the Mackin Range. When the regular convoy of Ruanon failed to arrive at the capital, the king sent you to investigate. A great battle ensued, in which you defeated Baraka in mortal combat. Wait, I'm sorry, where you defeated Baraka in mortal combat. No? Too much? Okay. Without your courage and skill, the safety of Summerlund and all of the last lands would have been placed in grave peril. Your Majesty the Zakan is gravely embarrassed by Baraka's foul treachery. It is most anxious that our friendship and trust be restored. He begs that you send the Kai warrior Lone Wolf to sign a treaty of peace with him at the Grand Palace in Barrakesh, whimpers the Zakan's emissary as he kneels at the feet of King Unlar. The king raises from his throne, barely able to conceal his distaste for the fawning envoy. He turns his gaze to you and bids you follow him privately to an antechamber. I have no liking for this desert realm, Lone Wolf, but I have I like the prospect of war even less. The Zakan is old and frail and has no son to claim his throne. When he dies, Baraka is but one of many ruthless nobles who wait like jackals for the chance to seize power, and I fear they grow too impatient to allow the Zakan to die a natural death. The treaty may not guarantee peace with Vesagonia once the Zakan is dead, but it will at least buy us precious time to strengthen our southern border. The king leads you to the window and points towards the harbor, barely visible through the falling snow. A Vesagonian galley lies anchored close to the harbor wall. Go to Vasagonia, Lone Wolf. Sign the treaty and return quickly. Even with the promise of peace, I fear the shadow of war will fall upon us before the year is out. You wave farewell to Holmgard on this bleak midwinter's day, feeling sure you will return before the thaw. But as you watch the spires of Holmgard disappear in the falling snow, you have no inkling of the shadow that awaits you in Vasagonia. Now this is a good book. Uh, not only is it the climax of the uh, Kai series, it's also two books shoved into one. It's almost two complete separate adventures, obviously linked, but uh, there's like two stages to your journey. So it's a lot of fun. I think you guys will really enjoy it. Um, so time for the voting, yes? Uh, Kai Disciplines. The only Kai Disciplines we have left to vote on are Mind Blast and Mind Shield. Mind Shield, the Dark Lords, the Dark Lords, the Dark Lords of many, uh, the Dark Lords and many of the evil creatures in their command have the ability to attack you using their Mind Force. The Kai Discipline of Mind Shield prevents you from losing any endurance points when subjected to this form of attack. Mind Blast. This enables the Kai Lord to attack an enemy using the force of his mind. It can be used at the same time as normal combat weapons and adds two extra points to the combat skill. Not all creatures encountered on this adventure will be harmed by Mind Blast. You will be told if the creature is immune. That's it, folks. Everything else we already know. We already know uh, tracking, camouflage, hunting, sixth sense, healing, weapon skill, and animal kinship and mind over matter. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Feel like a badass? Yeah? Yeah, I'll enjoy it while you can. Because 
back in book six, we're back to three. <laughs> yep. All right. So, well, I'll put a poll, and I'm going to use a new forum now. Thanks to Sparta, I have a new, very much improved forum on my website. And uh, this will allow us to do polls very, very easily. So I'll put the link in the description. You go there, and you can vote on it. And you can talk. Now, what I really want to see, now that we have a new forum... Um, is I don't want you guys just to vote. I want you guys to debate. I want you guys to converse with each other. I really would love to see uh, the community of viewers who like reading these books converse with each other and try and come maybe to a consensus of, hmm, why would we want this one over that one? Now, in this book, maybe not so much because there's only two to choose from, but in book six, it will become massive because not only will you only get to choose three, but Magna Chi offers many, many extra incentives to choosing one or another. So I would really love to you guys to get in the habit now to go to the forums and start talking about why this might be a better one to choose over another. All right. So equipment as well. I'd like to see you guys debate on that. Uh, before leaving home guard on your voyage to the Vasagonian capital of Barrakish, you are given a map of the desert empire, a pouch of gold. I already have 50. I don't even have to worry about it. <laughs> you may take your pick of the following items in addition to the ones you are already carry. You may take four of the following. A potion of lamb's fur, sword, spear, two rations, mace, shield. Alright, you know what? Completely pointless. We already have a shield. We already have an entire backpack of healing potions. <laughs> plus four, plus five, plus four, plus four, plus four, a rope, and a plus five, uh, four to my combat. I think we're good for healing, yes? So, uh, once again, Equipment does not matter on this one. Now, when we start the Magna Kai series, I'm going to be pretty much starting fresh. Uh, I might keep, like, the combat potion if I don't use that in Book 5. Um, but other than that, I'll, well, and of course my special items like shields and stuff. But uh, other than that, I'm going to just start fresh in Book 6. So, Book 5, we don't have to worry about equipment. <laughs> we already got everything they're offering us. All right. Uh, so, that's it. That's it. Um, just decide on the last of the Kai disciplines. I'd love to see you guys start getting into uh, conversations um, about what's better and such and such. So I will let you guys vote and then I will see you guys uh, in part two of Shadows on the Sand. Take care, everyone.